Are you trying to play the better Minecraft mod pack in 2023? Well, you have come to the right place. I'm about to teach you how to do so. Let's get started. The first step is actually quite easy. What you want to do is head over to the first, actually the second link. I like the second link in the description of this video, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, CurseForge is the application that is going to let us install mod packs for Minecraft. And installing CurseForge is really simple. You can look through the guide and see the screenshots, read through the tutorial, or you could just follow along the video and click on the button that says download CurseForge here. Once you click in that button, that is going to redirect you to the CurseForge website where you're going to encounter this screen right here. Now, if you're downloading this from Mac or something else, you could click on more download options, but most of you are going to be using Windows. And so you're going to click the download button right away. I'm going to go ahead and click that button. And that is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it always asks me where I want to save the file. But for most of you, it's just going to download automatically. Now, once the file has downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. As you can see, it's right here on my browser. If you don't see it in your browser, Maybe you're using Opera DX and it might be on the top right, or maybe it just goes straight to your downloads folder and you don't even see it. So yeah, just find the file on your downloads folder and go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now that we have the CurseForge installer, well, it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to double click on it. After you double click on CurseForge, it's going to prompt you with the administrator sign. Just allow it to run and then you're going to be presented with this screen right here. You're going to select your language and then you're going to click next. Just to give it a second. Click that you have read and understand the terms and privacies and all of that. Click next, next, and just wait for this to install. Now, I've been using CurseForge for a very long time, not just for better Minecraft, but also for like RL Craft, um, Pixelmon, a bunch of different mod packs, and CurseForge is the best. And CurseForge is the best thing ever to run mod packs because you don't have to like download everything manually. You could just click a button and play the mod packs from here. You will know that you installed CurseForge successfully once this website opens or the little uh, installer tells you that is already successfully installed. You could either launch it from here or you could launch it from your desktop. I'm going to go ahead and delete the installer. You could do the same. And now double click on CurseForge, the actual thing, and it's going to open up. Now, since it is the first time you're launching it, it might take longer than usual. Just give it a second and it will load next time that you open it, it's not going to take as long. And yes, you do need to open CurseForge whenever you're going to play the mod packs. That's the way you're going to be launching your mod packs, not just better Minecraft, but any other mod pack that you want to play. Now, as you can see, CurseForge is loading. Like I said, it's the first time, so it's going to give you a little intro. You could go ahead and click on a skip, or if you want to watch through the intro, go ahead and click next. But we're going to click a skip for now. Then it's going to ask you, what game are you installing a mod pack for? Obviously, this time we're installing a mod pack for Minecraft, so go ahead and select Minecraft Java Edition. And in here, you shouldn't see anything. You can see that I have a bunch of different mod packs because I myself have played a bunch of different mod packs, but most of you won't see anything in here. Just go ahead and click where it says Browse Mod Packs. That is going to bring you to where all the mod packs are at. And in here, you're going to click Search for Mod Packs and you're going to type Better Minecraft. As you can see, we type Better Minecraft, click Enter. We can see all the different better Minecraft versions in here. So you can see there's Fabric for 1.19.2, there's Forge for 1.19.2, and really it is up to you which one you want to download in here. I'm going to download the newest one available, which is either Fabric or Forge for 1.19.2. I personally like Forge more because Forge gives you the opportunity to add more mods later on, and also Optifine 1.19.2 is already out, so we could add shaders. So I'm going to go ahead and download better Minecraft Forge. So if you want to follow along and install the Forge version, just click on install right here. Or if you want to install the other one, feel free to do so. I mean, if you don't know the difference between Fabric and Forge, pretty much they are mod loaders. They let you add mods to the game. And some people prefer Fabric, some people prefer Forge. Fabric has a little bit less options when it comes to the mods, but sometimes they're better and they run smoother, while Forge has a big variety of mods but some of them are very bad mods, okay? So pretty much it's up to you. I prefer Forge, but it is up to you. And also Optifine runs on Forge, so that's always a plus. You could add Optifine later on. Also, you could add shaders to the Fabric one using Iris, but I personally prefer Optifine. So just click on install, give it a little bit to install, and then it should be done. If you don't see a play option right here, you could go back to your mod packs, click where it says my mod packs, and you should see better Minecraft in here. As you can see, it's still installing. Obviously, it's going to take long, guys. It's downloading a bunch of mods, and is installing a bunch of mods okay and these packs have like 200 and plus mods so that's why it takes so long just give it a little bit and we're finally done installing better minecraft as you can see it's the v12 as of right now and if you want to play just go ahead and click on play now since it is the first time that you're launching a mod pack using curseforge it's going to open the minecraft launcher and it might have you signing not even might it probably will have you signing let's see if it has me signing since i have login before it might not have me signing 
but for many of you it will probably have you signing let's give it a second it's loading and there we go it didn't have me signing but like i said for you it probably will have you signing because this is not your regular minecraft launcher i know it looks like it but this minecraft launcher is open through curseforge meaning that it has the mod pack already automatically selected so if you want to play better minecraft just go ahead and click on play and that is going to open the game click that you understand the risks after you log in and click play now there is a chance and this might happen to a lot of you that better minecraft doesn't run that you better minecraft mod pack crashes as soon as it opens and it gives you like a java error that is because your java version on your computer is actually outdated and you need to update it to either java 17 java 18 or java 19 and i'm not talking about minecraft java i'm talking about java the software that allows you to run minecraft on your computer see in order for any minecraft above 1.16.5 to run with mods in your computer you need to update your java to at least java 17. if you don't know how to check your java version just click where it says type here to search and type out of room of programs once that opens go ahead and click where it says search this list and type java so you can see i have java 17 but many of you won't have java 17 you might have java 7 or java 8. if that is the case don't worry because i'm going to link two of my guides on the description on how to update java as you can see we have a guide on how to update java it's actually really really simple and i'm also going to link the link for the jar fix in case you need to run a jar fix everything is explained on the guide so don't worry you will understand what's going on and you might need to do this for your better minecraft to run in the meantime let's go back to the launcher and check how it's going well as you can see it's loading it says not responding but if this is the case for you do not click anything just give it a little bit because sometimes it takes really long don't click anything because if you click on it you might freeze it and then it's even worse you actually have to close it just let it run i know it says not responding but there we go as you can see now it's loaded sometimes it's going to open actually full screen so you might not even see this in here it might just be full screen and go black for a little bit don't freak out give it a little bit guys i know it's it takes long but it's a heavy 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 mod pack you want to make minecraft better you have to deal with this type of things it says not responding again but i wouldn't freak out oh there we go it's like loading there we go okay so it says on the biomes you will go encounter an error okay so one of the mods didn't work this might actually happen to you too don't worry because i'm going to show you how to fix this now what you're going to do is look at the name of the mod that didn't work so this one is all the biomes okay you will go so we see that that mod is not working now what we're going to do to fix this issue is remember the name of the mod as you can see it's on the biomes you'll go click on open mods folder and then find the mod that is giving you the issue now this one was called on the biomes oh there you go all the biomes you will go we're going to go ahead and delete it now we could either delete it or we could go and find this mod online and update it manually in this case we're just going to delete it to actually make the mod pack run and show you that it does work so i'm going to go ahead and delete it i mean it's just one mod right sometimes we could let one mod go in order to play the game so now we have to actually reopen the game it's not gonna let us go through see even though the mod is gone it's not going to let you play so let's go ahead and open this again let's go ahead and click on better minecraft and open it again and there we go after we deleted the mod that was giving us the issue as you can see better minecraft has loaded and we could actually click on single player and then let's go ahead and create the world so you guys could actually see that the mod pack works right i don't want you to leave this video thinking that it didn't work and while the game loads in the background let me tell you real quick about apex hosting if you're looking for minecraft server apex hosting got you right now with 25 percent off if you use the first link in the description you could actually create a better minecraft mod pack server where you could play with your friends online 24 7 if you use minecraft apex hosting they have 24 7 support for java bedrock for whatever type of server you're trying to make first link in the description for 25 percent off and now let's get back to the game to see if it's actually loading as you can see again it says not responding but i'm not going to freak out i'm going to let it load because we already know what happens after a little bit 20 minutes guys i'm not even lying to you after like 20 minutes of loading not nah, 20 minutes is too much but after a long time of loading we're finally inside better minecraft let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger we're finally inside better minecraft i do not know how to play this mod pack and as i see that it already zooms in maybe it already has optifying installed let's see if we press escape and we go to options video settings um i do not see oh yeah we have shader packs so we already have like this is actually iris this is pretty cool we already have shaders uh enable so you could add some shaders and play with shaders that is pretty pretty cool so guys as you can see this is better minecraft fully working in 2023 i hope you enjoyed this video like i said if you face any issues update your java or give the game a little bit more ram or delete whatever mods are causing the issue and if this tutorial helped you leave a like and comment and as always bye bye